Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be covering two ways of upgrading your computer. I'm talking about an easy way and a hard way, a way that works on Mac and a way that can beef up your PC. And I am using here, this is a Crucial P5 Plus SSD. This is NVMe. This is like the latest generation PCIe 4 generation. This is like more generations that my computer can actually hold. It goes up to over 6,000 megabytes a second. What I like about this guy is it's terabytes writes is 1,200 terabytes. So that means I can write this drive. This is a two terabyte drive. I can write it like 600 times over and it will still be solid or that will be the, the length of the warranty. So you make sure when you're looking for SSDs, get one with TBW unlocked because the cheap ones, they will just die out on you. So first get yourself an SSD and for the easy method, you get yourself one of these SSD enclosures and they, this is a USB one. So you just pretty much put the SSD in here. Oh, slide in like that, push it down, make sure it's nicely aligned, nicely aligned and stick the screw back in. You plug it into your Mac and boom, you have just upgraded your storage on your Mac. 1000 megabytes a second write speeds on this SSD enclosure and one, almost 1000 megabytes a second SSD read speeds. Fast read speed, this is maxing out the USB bandwidth. Now there are faster enclosures you can get. You can get a Thunderbolt one, which makes it go even faster. Problem with that is it doesn't work on USB. Thunderbolt versions tend to only work with Thunderbolt. So if you do get a USB free, it is slightly slower than Thunderbolt, but you do get that dynamicness. You can use USB, USB-A, if you want to transfer your files all over the place. And one thing to note is this method also works on a PC. You can just plug it into a USB port and you can access the drives on both Mac and PC and you're happy. However, there is a more advanced way of doing it. And that means getting your screwdrivers out and opening up the box, going to the motherboard and actually ripping out your SSD and replacing it. All right, what we got right here is an R12 Alienware. If you can upgrade this beast, pretty much upgrade most PCs. Now this guy's a bit tricky to open up. You've got a couple of switches. These are locks. So you got to unlock this one, unlock this one, and there's also a screw. So you're gonna need a screwdriver. Boom, normal screwdriver. Just unscrew this screw. And once you've got that screwdriver, take care of it because you're gonna need it if you wanna lock it back up. So it's now, as I said, unlocked, unlocked. Well, this is a pull out button. And look what happened there. This bad boy just popped out. And you can put it back in by lining up these little inserts into these little ridges here. Put it like that. And then you kind of like pull this out, this switch, the one that we pushed and shove it in there. It's a bit tricky. You just need to focus on what you're doing and uh, like take a look at what you're doing. Don't try recording a video and showing people how to do it but it does kind of line up, hold it both hands and it's locked into place. So when you undo it, you can put it back in, showing you how to do it because you're gonna get scared if you undo it, and especially if you're doing it for the first time. If you're one of those Mac people that haven't upgraded DIY things in their lives, it's very scary. So now this bad boy is out. These two unlocks, like they're locked, this won't move. Whereas this is unlocked, this is unlocked, this with a bit of pulling will move. Look at that. We have opened, like, just make sure these wires don't get jammed up and then open it up and open Sesame. Boom, shakalaka, you are inside the PC. Now there's one thing you need to do to upgrade this and it's a bit tricky if you haven't done it before and that is you need to remove the graphics card. As you can see, this graphics card is kind of like floating away in the world. You don't know what you're doing. So what you do is you kind of like lift it up and this actually gets pulled out and this is like a little bracket holder. Now this guy is kind of locked into position because if you look right at the back, there's actually a button switch over here. You gotta like flick it. This this blue little flicky thingy-majig, you gotta pull it back and that lets the graphics card run loose. And there you go. The graphics card is out of the way. Put that graphics card out of the way and I'm gonna just put it out of the way like that. And it's kind of like a little mini spoiler. I've actually already installed it. So I'm gonna uninstall it and install it back in again. I actually did have a little practice run to make sure I know what I'm doing. So you're gonna need now a little mini screwdriver. This is kind of like the Phillips head, but a mini one. And you wanna unscrew from the top here and it just pops out like that. So 
So I've gone ahead and replaced my old SSD with this faster one. And you just make sure you line up. This on the left side a smaller bit, the right side there, basically the label to the front. And you pop it in that little hole there. You'll feel it when it floats in, perfect. You push it in there and with that little screw, you screw it in to the hole. And that is the upgrade complete. Of course, you wanna put the graphics card back in and I'll show you exactly how to do that. You kind of just like exactly how you're taking it off. You put it back in and you wanna put these PCIe back in the PCIe. And this bracket is obviously on a down state because you just pulled it down. So you kind of just like jimmy it in and then you push it. And as you push it, that little switch that you flicked open is gonna close up. So look at that, you hear that, you hear that click? And that's now it's locked into position. So you just wanna put the little bracket to hold it back up and you gotta remember how to do it. You think it goes there, but it doesn't, it goes around the back here. So going like that, lift up the graphics card ever so slightly, not too much. If it's too much, then you've done it a bit wrong. You need to push this a bit down ever so slightly and there. That is it. You have now upgraded your SSD so you can close the box and make sure none of the cables are getting jammed. Like that one kind of got jammed. Anyway, flock it in, lock this in position because you don't want it to go anywhere. Yep, locked into position. And then we do the bit that we showed you right at the beginning, put the case back on and you're done. So this Alienware only has one M.2 slot for the SSD. Unfortunately, it's a Gen 3 slot, it's not PCIe 4. Now you can also get a PCIe adapter card and put the SSD on that. And for that, you can then get the PCIe 4 speeds, or if you have a motherboard with PCIe 4, M.2, you'll get the maximum speeds. So in my tests, I got 1,000 using the USB, maxing out that throttle, and I got 50% faster speeds than my current SSD, which is around 3,000 megabytes a second, maxing out the Gen 3 system that I've got over here. But of course, this is Gen 4, and if you have the right motherboard, you can go over 6,000 megabytes a second. So let me know how you found this easy, hopefully easy, and slightly trickier guide on how to upgrade your computer. Let me know if you found it useful, and I hope you guys enjoyed the show.